Hey guys, this is Quentin with another YouTube video. We're uh, here in Florida, we're having love bug season, and um, everybody tries to figure out the newest way to try to get the love bugs off your car. These bugs, or if you're not familiar with them, uh, they eat your paint if you leave them on there too long. Up to two days, they'll, they'll start to eat into your paint. Um, they're very acidic. Um, what we're gonna be using today is we're gonna try hydrogen peroxide. Um, the love bugs, because of the acidity of their body chemistry, um, they're very high protein, and the theory is the hydrogen peroxide eats proteins. So the hydrogen peroxide should eat and dissolve the proteins, and there shouldn't be no wiping, no scrubbing. This should this should be effort, and um, effortless, effortless, effortless. <laughs> And, uh, but as you can see, this is about a week's worth of uh, driving back and forth to work and other places. And as you can see, I have a black 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage. Um, the, it's covered everywhere. I mean, the windshield, it gets so bad you can't even see out the windshield sometimes. So um, we got our hydrogen peroxide here, 3%. Got some microfiber cloths. We're gonna use the bottle to apply the hydrogen peroxide. And then we got some Dawn dishwashing soap. So after we get done spraying it, we're gonna put the Dawn on there and just wipe it down. And that's all we're gonna try. And we're gonna see how it works. What do you think it's gonna do? I honestly think it's gonna work. Um, I have no idea. I know I've seen videos of vinegar which is acidic peroxide and salt to add rust but it's painted and i don't see any metal so yeah this is all Might plastic work. this is all plastic so this is that hood's about the only thing metal in this car but it's coated in paint so i don't know yeah Just all right to... we're gonna fill up the bottles and uh see what we can do here oh we also have a water hose back here too so um rinse everything down when we're done We're gonna try it. We're gonna take the training wheel off. Training wheel? Yeah. That's what I always call the little restrictor. Yeah. Works great as a funnel. If you poke a hole in the bottom. Well, well one bottle doesn't quite take the whole thing, so um, almost stuck the squirter back in here. Well, it's all over the car. I hope it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, me too. Me too. It should. It should. When you spray it on the love bugs, it should uh, foam up. And um, Look, it is foaming. It's turning white. It should eat the protein inside the bug itself. So we're just going to... Nice little mist here. See if it actually foams up. Oh yeah, it is coming. There it is. So where did you learn about this? Internet. Oh yeah. These bugs get so bad that on these big rigs and, and stuff around here, um, it could actually clog the radiator and make the engines overheat. Yeah, I've had that happen. So. Hey look, now yeah, you can see all the love bugs. They're see, all turning white. See, see how they're all... It's working. Everywhere they're at, just spray the... Now supposedly, if this works correctly, it should dissolve it in about one to two minutes. It should dissolve it and you, should, you shouldn't have to do any scrubbing. That's the trick, supposedly, because everybody hates scrubbing love bugs off the car every two days. We have an ant problem, 
So uh, we're combating the ants with the water hose right now, but I think they're winning. Look, you want to see what it does to a live love bug? A live one? Yeah, it's one right here. That's a little cruel. Uh, it doesn't look like it did anything. Well, it looks like it peed off the ants. Yeah, you see all the ants crawling around? They're everywhere. Oh, they're in the cracks. Alright. It's definitely turning them all white. Yeah. Also, the mirrors here. Uh oh, my 88 cent bottle is coming apart. Uh, I think we've covered the whole car now. We're gonna go ahead and I know some places it sat longer than two one to two minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and let it sit there a little bit longer and uh, see how it goes. It's still foaming up though. You can look at the look at the bottom of it where it's yeah. dripping off the car. It looks like you used soap suds. Yes, it does. And you can see it's not soap. It's not soap. <laughs> Only wash this pour the bottle. I mean, you wash this pour the bottle, but I mean, that's not to say somebody doesn't do fancy editing. No editing. No editing in this video. We, can have a, we actually Captain Disillusion. We, actually, we never really edit much of our videos. We, we shorten them. We shorten them if anything. <laughs> there's a there's a YouTube channel called Captain Disillusion. I like to watch it because he disproves whether or not somebody has edited a clip using uh, like Photoshop or right? something. <coughs> Which we don't have Photoshop. It's really expensive. Yeah, we ain't. we don't have it yet. We aren't on that level yet. All right. Now what? We wait. No. <laughs> we filled up the bucket and we put our uh, Dawn dishwashing soap. Just regular old Dawn. I could use in the kitchen sink. It's gonna foam up really bad. Yeah, it's gonna foam up pretty bad, but. Hey, maybe I can get it to not foam up so bad. And well, I'm shooting bubbles. We're already at eight and a half minutes. Holy crap. We can time lapse that area. Okay. Bubbles are full. So are you going to use the Dawn to wipe it off? Or just wipe it off? Well, we're going to... Uh, I think you should rinse it. Honestly, let's rinse it. All right. We're going to try rinsing it first. I still see love. I still see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's right, try. Well, you it. didn't hit that spot, so try something different over there. I still see a lot of love bugs, but there is a lot of dead love bug stuff. It looks like it tore their bodies apart. Now, I will say this is a week worth of stuff. So maybe yep. if you do it. The recommended every two days, maybe it would be better. Um, maybe. I guess I'll have to find out. Looks like it's coming a lot easier than my car. Well, oh, look at the look at the chrome right there. Yeah. Or okay, what would you chrome. call that? Flome? Because it's plastic like, chrome. <laughs> <laughs> it's sprayed. Actually, it's like a. 
I don't know. I don't know what look it how, is. But I mean, look how easy it is actually coming off. Anyway, except for the really dried mm, on ones on there, that are coming off. <laughs> but I mean, if you did this every two days, you know. Now I can't tell what's the hydrogen peroxide and what's the soap. You may not have let it sit because look at these over here. Let's see. Okay, it does work. Look, here's one. I'm not gonna put a lot of force, I'm just gonna wipe my finger. And most of it comes right off. And look, no more love bugs. A little bit right there, but. A little bit. I mean, compared to what people, people <laughs> use tar, tar remover on some of their cars for these love bugs. I mean, these love bugs are, oh, we about had a. I was trying to spray myself. I mean, these love bugs are vicious. So, I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's rinse this side off and show them. Alright, let's see. Yeah. It's not bad, it does work. There's still like a couple pieces of guts here. But I mean, how hard did we scrub on that? Not at all. Exactly. I just wiped my finger across it, a lot of it came off. So, yeah, it works. So, I mean, if you could do something like every two days. If you were those type of people that wanted a, you know, a super clean car or had the time to get out and clean your cars, um, I say this would be a good trick to back and try. So. All right, well, I guess that's the video. Yeah. Bye, guys.